guys, it's Tati Koki. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can tell, we're in a different location today. It's a little bit cozier for us, um, only because we have no other option. <laughs> today, I wanted to bring you guys so we can quarantine and chill. I don't know what else to do. Luckily, food delivery services and things like that, like Uber Eats, all that stuff is still up and running. So, we have Chick-fil-A. I did actually get two meals just because you never know. At this point, I want to stock up. So yeah, this is kind of going to be like a mukbang chit chat. I don't really know. We're just chilling. There's really nothing else to do at this point and I don't want to go crazy. So I'd like to talk to you guys, okay? So let's just get into this. But first, if you've not subscribed to my channel yet, what are you doing? We're going to give you a couple seconds to do that. Mm. Did you do it? Good, now you can watch the video and welcome to our family. Also, follow me on my socials. It's where you can participate in polls, all that fun stuff or whatever. Let's just get into this food. I was really hungry, so I started eating out of one pack of fries already. I won't lie to you. So, yeah. And I drank half my milkshake. I'm sorry, I was hungry. You know by the time you go home, normally the fries are cold. That's what I was concerned about, but they still, they still hot. How do people do this without talking with their mouth open? <coughs> Not Corona, salt. Hmm. Normally guys, I'm like super weird and I eat like one first. Cause like the fries get cold and then it ruins it. But I can eat a lukewarm nugget, but I cannot eat a lukewarm fry. So we're gonna eat the fries first. All right, listen y'all. I'm gonna start by saying this. I, yesterday, right, I was watching stories and I seen Kylie Jenner post a story, right? And she gonna talk about some guys, the coronavirus, it's real. And I'm talking about that space. I'm like, wow, Kylie, I just, I never knew. And I was like, is this groundbreaking information? Like, why is she acting like this? And I thought it was hysterical. But then my bestie reminded me, some of y'all clearly need to hear that. So here I am using my platform to tell y'all she didn't lie. It's real. Y'all need to understand you're, especially because my audience is younger, you might recover. And the funny thing is, we're not invincible. I saw a stat that said 40% um, of the young people are hospitalized. So I don't know why we think we're just like, ah, I'm just gonna get over it. Like, no, you could end up in the hospital too, sweetie. And you the one that might give it to your mama, your grandmama, my mama. Like, no, we're not playing them games. Stay your ass inside. You hear me? Stay your ass inside. It's really not that hard, I promise you. You're not missing anything. People don't want to see you that bad. There you go. I said it. I said it. Y'all just need to take one uh, for the team here because this is ridiculous. But I also want to say, I am somebody, I don't think I've ever said this on my channel before. Wow. Exclusive, I deal with anxiety. So for my fellow um, anxiety havers, this can be a really, really like taxing time on our mental health. So I completely understand like being like, shut up, shut up, this is mass hysteria. I totally get that because I was having so much anxiety about this whole situation. But at one point we also have to be real with ourselves and be like, okay, this is what we're dealing with. What am I gonna do about it? Stay my ass home, you feel me? But I'm sure you guys have heard enough about it. So moving on. I've seen a lot of people talk about they were sad. <gasps> Girl, almost dropped the prize. I see I see a lot of you sad that it's like, it's the worst to be single during this quarantine, like without a boo, blah, blah, blah. Girl, if you don't use this time to work on yourself, I know, I don't wanna do that. I just wanna go to bed. Y'all gotta stop being so codependent. It's like, you can't do anything without thinking how much more fun it would be with someone else. Why? Why does every experience have to be like, oh, but if I had a boo though, girl, if you don't just enjoy the damn moment, damn. Stop expecting dudes or vice versa to like change your life. Cause they not. And most of the time, it ain't for the better. You don't need a boyfriend to watch Netflix movies with. Watch it by your damn self. Laugh with yourself. It's okay, ain't nobody around. Nobody gonna judge you. The other country's probably laughing at us, y'all. If you're not in America, are you laughing at us? Be honest. Cause I would too. We all out on spring break. We all playing tug of war on the beach. We all doing nasty stuff in the water and touching and they look. During a viral pandemic? But it's not, it's not why we're here. Then we got people dropping albums. And I'm just like, I just don't know how to feel about it. I was on Twitter and I seen um The Weeknd, the album is now dropped. Go stream, I guess. The Weeknd, um, was talking about like two days, three days, like he was counting down and like posting stuff. And I was like, shut up. 
we don't care. Like, it was not the time. I don't know. I was just like, why do you think I care about your countdown when they're literally talking about closing everything for 12 months? Like, I don't care about your album artwork right now. I don't know why I'm getting so mad. I just like remember seeing it and like scrolling and I'm being like, shut up, like an aggressive scroll. Like, I don't care. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't. Anyway, I feel like every time I have a chit chat, I talk about this man, but that's because this man is literally always in the tabloids quickly. Did y'all see the baby slap that woman? I'm just like, what's the tea? Like, everybody was like, look at this God fearing man. Oh my God, my husband. And now he just out here slapping women, and I'm just like, but then after every time he do that, he'll put a, a, a video up or something and be like, God, God, no. God always got y'all, y'all, as long as y'all stay faithful. And I'd be like, don't try it, sir. Don't, don't, don't do it. Pick a side. And I feel scammed, bamboozled, lied to. Y'all know that meme of Carly Rae. I'll probably put it here. Guys, it was all a lie. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. That's how I feel about him and his whole aura. Also, I keep seeing these girls do club host things, and I'm just like, not to say they shouldn't go get their bag, because get your bag. But why are y'all still in the clubs? Like, not even the girls doing the hosting. Why are y'all in the club now? Ew. The club is already so dirty. I'm not a party girl, because I don't like being shoulder to shoulder, chest to chest with other people. It's way too close. I don't like people in my personal space. It's sweaty. But now, y'all are chest to chest with strangers. Oh my God. Voluntarily? Oh God. I mean, now y'all can't because I'm pretty sure today everything closed. So, like, you're done up, baby. But, like, ew. Damn. Now, something else I also want to tell y'all stop doing during this quarantine. Please, 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 please. I don't want to see your Facebook ass posts on Twitter and Instagram. Please stop it. Please stop. Hey, you. Please stop. That's annoying. I keep seeing people be like, if we're in quarantine. Everybody has their laptop and their phone. If they're not texting you back, they don't want to. And everyone's like, period. I beg you to stop it. End it, please, end it. It's terrible, I hate it here. I hate those type of things. Don't bring that into 2020. It's literally not, like it's making it worse. It literally makes me want to close my phone and never reopen. This is turning into an unpopular opinion. And then there was this thing going around, right? And a lot of my friends did it. And like, I think like, obviously they're my friends. Like I know the character, it was harmless, but I feel like it was so, counteractive of what it was supposed to do. Did y'all see everyone was doing like the pretty challenge? I don't even know what it was called. I didn't partake in it. I was tagging a bunch, but I didn't partake because I just felt wrong. It was like, oh, there's so much negativity going around. Let's be positive. Post a picture of yourself and tag 10 pretty people. The thing is, and it was like, if you don't get tagged, don't get offended. And I'm like, no, see, that's what th that's what's gonna happen. You're, you definitely, I mean, nine times out of 10, you probably know more than 10 people and you're tagging 10 people. And then it's like, what about the 11th girl? What about your other friend that like you didn't choose to tag? Like, is she not as pretty? Like, I just feel like it was so counteractive and like also just an excuse to post pictures of ourselves. Like, girl, just post a picture of yourself. I would love to see it. We love to see it. We love women. Post your face. We don't need to do this. I don't know. I felt like it could be, eh, like I couldn't narrow my list down to 10 people and I wasn't about to be like, all right, it's Hunger Games. Who wants that 10th spot? Like, so there's that. I don't know, felt weird about it. What do y'all think? Now let me talk about TikTok. Let me talk about TikTok. Where do I begin? I distinctly remember this app. They're not slick. This was Musical.ly three, four years ago. I remember this app. Everybody was on it. It was the whole, uh, 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 uh. Well, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was on it, and then freaking it was done. Everybody was like, all right, next. How did y'all rebrand this successfully? I need the secrets, I need the tips at this moment. What did you do? Who did you pay? Because they have completely taken over, and I just, I just. <sighs> now, I'm on that. I'm not consistent though at all. I'm not like a TikToker. I just like did some stuff with my man, whatever, right? Boom. But I am on there watching TikToks because they are that entertaining. And I'm just like, the creativity that these children possess is just truly beyond me. I just don't understand the, like, 
the capabilities are just too far to just be on this app. These children need to be in careers. The editing skills, top notch. Their minds, their minds. I'm just gonna say, I don't see a lot of people that look like me. And that's all I'm gonna say, chew on that. And I know they on there, that's the funny part. Like, I've seen some of these people on Ellen. I've seen them at the NBA All-Star Game. It, it has just gone so far. And that's great, like I'm not hating. That is great that these opportunities are being given. I'm just wondering how the older, like the Musical.ly girls that were popping, how do y'all feel? This video is all over the place. I clearly, I just, I'm just, I, <laughs> woo, we're going crazy. I think I just, I mean, I still have school, so my school just moved to online, so this is gonna be quite the long semester. I do feel like I might have a little bit more time now, though, so I think I'm going to read a book. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know at this point. What are you guys gonna do? Let me know what you guys are doing because uh, at this point, I just, I'm just eating. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> but before I close this out, you know I have to give my shout out of the week. This week's shout out goes to Heritage. Here's her page. Hi, beautiful. I seen your comment going to bat for me the other day and I just want to let you know that I love you so, so much and that will never change. All right, y'all, please, 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 again, stay inside, stay safe, stay clean, stay healthy, do what you can, do your part. Again, I normally have some resources on my Instagram story if you guys wanna go check that out. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, turn your post notifications on. You got a lot to do, you better get to it. Or not, because you got quite a lot of time. And I will see y'all in my next one.